Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. It is Factone here and today we are back with the brand new event of Charity Case. Now obviously this is a minor event which I did cover on last night. Um, if you haven't watched that video, uh, be sure to do check it out. Um, but yeah, I'm actually sort of looking forward to this one. It's not um, obviously an impressive update because um, obviously it is just a small one. Um, however, if you are new here, Please like and um, subscribe to the channel as we are pushing on for 2,000 subscribers. And yes, so let's get started into this. So Springfield's gone bankrupt. Honestly, we're shocked it didn't happen sooner. Play all the quests before June 5th to earn all the new content. So let's get it started. Okay. Oh, the Mountain Buddhist Temple. That does look pretty cool. That wasn't... Oh, maybe it was actually... But yes. So rest assured that all your concerns regarding privatisation went in one ear and out the other. What? No. We don't have the money for two ears. Are you insane? Didn't you vote to give yourself a raise this year? That's because of uh, inflation. Oh yes, inflation. Money that comes up must come down. That's gravity. <laughs> so we're going to collect... 155 calculators, make Quimby keep saying inflation, and make Homer pretend he understands inflation. Brilliant. Don't worry, in order to avoid any conflicts of interest, we'll only be awarding city contracts to non-profit organisations. That sounds okay. I like charity. As do I. For example, the majority of my money goes to my foundation to raise unawareness. You mean awareness? No. We prefer people fat, stupid, and unaware. Woohoo! So let's play. So we got the blue bail bond. I can't bloody speak. Blue bail bonds. That's just. Oh, is that four hours? I don't get this privati privatization play. What's in it for the rich? Can't you just believe in the good of people? Auntie Ziff gave the whole town free Wi Fi. It's so fast the pop up ads are bulging out of the screen. Huh? Well. That's good, I guess. Ziff Corp. Why isn't my home page the donut shop live stream like it always is? Aha! I knew there was an angel. RT Ziff is using the free Wi-Fi for free advertising. All I'm hearing is lots of free, and nothing free in life is bad. That's not how the saying goes. Not according to the Ziftonet. Ziftonet, show me donuts! So again, we need to collect 155 calculators and make Homer yell at the computer, make Lisa start the, to investigate, and make Bart deep dive misinformation. I'm losing the will to live it. Make Bart deep dive misinformation, and that is for the building of the blue check uh, caching. Congratulations, sir. You've been awarded the city's contract for providing all the electricity to the streetlights. Excellent. Converting the plant to a non-profit has been very profitable. You could make even more profit if you brighten those streetlights, causing them to require more power. Excellent idea, Smithers. Perhaps that excellent idea warrants me a raise? We're a non-profit, Smithers. We do this work out of the goodness of our souls. Now, ready the tax-free cocktail shrimp bath. There we go, we've got the, uh, the blue check caches. I know, caching. Building? I mean, they're all right buildings, aren't they? They're not the best, but oh well. Marge, giant groundhogs have tunnelled under the roads at regular intervals. I think that means nuclear winter is upon us. Those aren't groundhog tunnels, those are speed bumps. They've installed thousands of them in, this, in the town. What? But that will make my commute to Mose even longer. You mean work. I said what I said. According to city documents, the rich Texan is now in charge of all road maintenance. Kids, get in the car. We have an oil man to harass. But what about school? Lisa, Dad wants us to participate in the democratic process of complaining. Isn't that life lesson more important than school? Too many life lessons and not enough real lessons is how you end up at, ba at Barnard. And yes, so now we've got to get 115 calculators. Uh, make Homer drive to the rich Texan's house. Make Lisa fret about missing school and make Bart partake in the democratic complaint process. And that will get us the Lisa M. Simpson Foundation rocket. Hey, guy with a 10-gallon hat and 20-gallon squishy. Where did you get that squishy? Dad. 
And what's the deal with all the speed bumps? You mean my battery busters, aren't they great? Battery busters? Electric cars, the scourge of every honest hard working oil man. If people stop driving real cars, then my oil will only be good for making plastic bags, medical equipment and clothing. I'll be ruined. This way, you can stop progress by slowing down traffic. It's a win-win. Except for the planet. That's what space exploration is for. Yeehaw! And now we got the rocket. Which is pretty cool to be fair. I don't mind the rocket. These non-profits aren't helping people. They're just another way for the rich to exploit the working man. Well, two can play that game. I'll reopen the Lisa M. Simpson Foundation and give them a taste of their own medicine. You're going to socialise medicine? I'm only eight, Dr. Hibbert. All I can do is run a semi-functional government. You don't need the hootiness, tootiness, best darn accountant this side of the Mississippi, do you? Who's the best on the other side of the Mississippi? Stan Lebowitz. Don't you work for the rich Texan, though? Won't that be a conflict of interest? Technically, but I switched out my non-compete clause with a non-complete clause. Uh, clause. As long as I f never finish anything, I'm free to work on anything. Will you finish my work, though? Let me circle back to that. And yes, we're now onto the Lisa M Foundation, which is going to make Le Lisa reopen a non-profit and collect 155 calculators. First things first, rubber band lasso contest. I was going to say repurpose the Lisa M Simpson Foundation to start winning Springfield's contracts. Sorry, I forgot who I was working for for a moment. You and the rich Texan are so similar. How exactly? Well, you both my bosses. Speaking of bosses, we'll need you in endless meetings that could have been emails. But I have a book report due for class. Could you make it to PowerPoint instead? And then we go to the Lisa. That actually looks pretty nice. That actually does look really nice. It's not going to stay there forever, but yes. I've lined up some celebrity bottles to shoot because I've got some good news. Your bot boss is mixed up again. I'm the precocious girl, not the scheming oil baron. Man, I'm good with numbers, but not with faces. We can recycle the bottles as a form of celebration. What's the good news? I won you all the contracts. The streetlights, the public Wi-Fi, the road maintenance. All of them so fast. I'm starting to realise that I actually have no idea how to do any of this. Honour and confidence. Maybe you and a 70-year-old white man aren't so different after all. Gee, I think I'm going to have a panic attack. I can't run all these city departments. Sounds like you need to hire a CEO. Thank you, townspeople, for coming to this meeting. We were told there would be snacks. I think you're mistaken. I'm here to publicly elect the new CEO of the Lisa M. Simpson Foundation because it's currently running all out of our city contracts. This is putting the power back with the people. And the people want snacks. I would like to nominate my wonderful accountant as CEO. He's the one who secured these contracts to begin with. What snacks did you bring? I'm afraid I already ate my secret jerky supply out of nervousness. I'd like to nominate myself as CEO of this foundation with the promise of always bringing snacks, both salty and sweet. He got my vote. Mine too. He didn't even bring the snacks. It's just an empty promise. Empty like my stomach. We vote Quimby. <sighs> I don't know why I was expecting diff anything different. Congratulations, complete to part five. This town ain't big enough for the tax <laughs> for the two tax deductions, cowboy accountant. Part of the charity cases, I'm sure you're aware of. As a new CEO of the Lisa M. Simpson Foundation, I hope you're all enjoying your snickerdoodles, bought and paid for by bribes. I mean, love. Lobbyists. Woo! Go Quimby! You're the best, Quimby. Oh, I set out to end the corruption of all this privatisation, but I think I just made things worse. I don't think that's true, sweetie. I think you've made a positive impact on this town. You really mean that? Of course. Now I have a cookie. That's a positive impact in my book. Thanks, Dad. There you go. Congratulations, you've completed Snackdown, the final quest on this journey. Collect my reward, sweet. Congratulations, you completed Charity Case. Wasn't recruiting the government fun. You completed this event, so the Shattered Dreams mystery box is available until the start of the next event. Plus you get a free Shattered token. That's pretty cool. We've got three now, we'll save that for an opening. We will save it for an opening. 
Um, so yes, guys, that is going to be the end of this episode. Uh, however, we will also be doing some more video. Wait, we can buy more of these. Ah, oh, fair enough. You can you can buy more ba blue bail bonds and blue check cashing. Is that is that a mistake? On I can't be right. Oh well. Um, but yeah. Um, like I mentioned, I will we could do more videos covering this update. Um, in terms of obviously, Buddha Homer, uh, the Investo, uh, the robot, and a bit more maybe. Um, we'll obviously answer any queries that you do have, and if you know, if you have enjoyed this, please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Why not? Um, but yes, thank you all so much for joining. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.